So when it comes to the existential fear, the reason why women get so upset about me making a point saying, ladies, the reason here's this, uh, that whole clip was to describe the reason why women feel so much frustration with men today, because they're not feeling frustration with men. They're feeling frustration with themselves because no man or very few men like top elite level guys, the vast majority of men cannot compete is are is not attractive arousing is another thing is not attractive as much as she can be for herself she already satisfies protection provisioning and parental investment she already says because she's got a career she's got an education she makes she makes this x amount of dollars and all that stuff that would make a man a really good catch means nothing on the sexual marketplace and women make a, a criminal mistake when they think that they deserve a top shelf, top level, elite level guy because they have made themselves top level, top shelf, elite level men themselves. But I mean, as women, right, they become the men that they want to marry. And those guys have no use for them. I try to put that in my response in there, but of course it falls on deaf ears. But that's really the case. And the frustration that women feel when I say, and I was trying to make this point in the video, and like I said, it's 28 seconds, but I'm trying to make this point is that women tell me, Rolo, how do, like I did, I've done everything I was told to do. I got a career. I got my business on point. I'm still, you know, I'm, I mean, I know I'm 35, but I'm still good looking, kind of, well, not as good looking as you were when you were 23. Um, but doesn't matter. Now you still, I'm, there are some very, by the way, we have some very attractive, I would say the top elite level chicks on our show on, on access Vegas. And quite a few of them are in the 38 to 42 year old range. And you would never know it by looking at their Instagram. Remember perception is everything, but like when you see them in person, they're for the most part, they're just as hot in person as they are in on Instagram. Jamie Villamore, who is absolutely stunning um, is 42 years old. And I believe she has kids. I'm not, I don't know how many, but I believe she has kids. Absolutely. Like she's fitness, uh, fitness pageant quality body, right? It's not, I mean, you know, women can stay sexy for, you know, they maintain it and take it into the body shop and get work done. Yeah. It's possible. But if you like women, like someone like that is going to be, this is no, I'm using her as an example. This is not a meant directed at her, but women who are, let's say 38 and they've got their career on point. And by like, you're talking about women who like, and I'm by career, maybe it's only fans and they're making more money than any guy that they could possibly get with. Like any guy that would be interested in a woman who is like, like in the long term not recreational use only, but is interested in her in the long term. She's already making more money than that guy. Most of the women that we have, like most, I would say well, certainly more than half, but maybe like, let's say 75%, 80% of the women that are on access Vegas, they're, they're, they're gorgeous by conventional standards. You can argue if you want about tattoos and big circus tits, whatever, but they make what you can't argue with is they make more money than lawyers. They make more money than brain surgeons. I even asked that on the show. You should go, I should scrub back through that show and show you. But uh, I asked, um, I asked Tristan, I said, I had him look it up. I said, what is the average salary of a, of a brain surgeon? I think it was. And he said, I think it was 600 to $700,000 a year for a brain. So a guy who works on your brain, and there are, and so, so I'm like, I'm looking at these women. I said, now, how many women make more than six to $700,000? And like, I, I think there's at least four of them that raise their hands. Like they're, they're in the million range or they're making a lot of, or they're close to it, if not. So you're talking about a guy who, I don't know how long it takes to become a doctor in like neurological science or surgery, neurosurgery, a guy who's like saving people's lives by like tinkering with their brains OnlyFans models make more than that. Instagram models, influencers, bottle girls, girls at the freaking pool parties. They're, if they're not making that much, they're getting pretty close to it. 
it's not about looks at that stage. It's like they can't find a long-term partner because they price themselves out of the sexual marketplace in the long term. If they can find hot guys to go at the, you know, to to have sex with, I'm sure. But none of them turn out to be very like, why is it that they don't marry those guys? That's what I want to know. Because when I've talked to Richard Reeves and when I, you know, if you look at like, say, uh, uh, I'm going to show you Scott Galloway here again in a second. If it's social constructionism, if it's all about, uh, it's all, it's all about how you feel or it's all about, we need to, you know, women need to sort of re, uh, rethink their priorities with guys. They just, you know, they've, it's gotta be married for love. It's not, not, uh, not exchange, not transaction, not, um, opportunism. Remember women love opportunistically and men love idealistically. <laughs> Why is it that like these girls, these very attractive girls who are making way more money than 90% of the guys that are coming on to them that are trying to take them out, they're not marrying those guys. Why are they not like getting down and saying, you know what, uh, getting down on one knee and, and proposing to him? <laughs> why? Because that's not how the machine was built. That's why it's not social constructionism. That's why they don't marry. They like to have, they like to fuck them. For, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely certain they love to do that. But they don't want to marry them. They don't want to have a long, they don't have kids with them. And if you press them on that, they would be like, well, you know, he doesn't make as much money. You know, he's trying, he's got his own business. He's trying to catch up. He's trying to get up, uh, you know, on top. he's never going to get up to the level that she is on OnlyFans or as an influencer, as a model, as whatever. Now, Rollo, those are just those girls in Vegas. Mm, yeah, they are. But the perception online in the global sexual marketplace is that that's what women should expect from men. So even... If you have an average girl who's on Fresh and Fit, who's 19, 20 years old, and she she runs her own business, which is a nail salon or some shit like that, that girl still thinks that, oh, well, I'll have sex with the guy who's hot and he's you know fun and he's 22 or whatever, but I'm not going to marry him because he'll never measure up to what I have. I am... I am the man. He is the woman now. We've, that's You want to talk about the masculinization of... of women and the feminization of men. Well, I don't need a man because I am the man, but I want a man. Who do they want? They want the guy who they're just going to have fun sex with, but would never consider that he's recreational use only, right? They would never have anything more with that guy because he will never amount or the, he will never amount to what she can potentially amount herself or she believes she could potentially amount to herself that's why and again yes it comes back to the existential fear like to marry that guy is terrifying even though he's hot and he's got a big and he's you know, ripped and he's, he's fun in bed the thought of of not having the option to advertise herself even though she's with a guy who's like like jacked and and russell wilson right is a high value guy that even in that light, she still reserves the right to advertise her ass because there might there's a small chance that there might be a guy who is makes a shit ton of money, looks just as good as this guy is, and is the ideal partner and wants to go off and, and just and selects her and puts the freaking crystal slipper on her foot, right? <laughs> 